grand. Crashed her motorbike again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Natasha? Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Uh-oh. Oi, you! We're with the flowers. What? Hang on. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. No dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look. You pull his ear to make him wag his tail, and you press his nose to make him bark. Ooh, that's good. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic, isn't it? So, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Dennis, how's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are. Dennis, just as I thought. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on! What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Get him! Till I tell you. <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? <gasps> Come on, where are you? <gasps> Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Oh, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goochie, goochie, goo. Oh, goochie, goochie, goo. Here, I've uh, got something for you. Oh. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, here, boy! 
Oh, it is. Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. and Mrs. Butcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. <laughs> oh, is it serious? Thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind of. Shame little Junior can't have any. He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's nasher for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney. He bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax, in which people feared they had caught bubogic plane. I'm sorry, that's bubonic plague. <laughs> Now what's got into him? I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. Yeah, what's this? I got him! <laughs> Hang on, pie face! <laughs> into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love, but this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call us then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs. Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Oh. 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 Don't think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasher won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. <laughs> Go on, my son. <laughs> Never forget.
forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. Except, perhaps, a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. You guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs. Creature! Yes, many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> Looks like they want to race. <laughs> Walter, what's up? Pull that canoe over. I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest. The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh, no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Children are missing. 
missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. There's no time. Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! Oh. Time to have some fun! their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. OK, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We'll starve! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <laughs> yes! Almost there! Finished! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued! Which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Most safe chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. under control. I declare this land carnal country. Huh? Yes! Goes out! He 
It's officially summer! Hang on, where are you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, Pie Face. Savour the taste of freedom. Oh, OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, hey, all right, let's go. School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely he can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <coughs> Aha! Uh, hello, Colonel. Has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. <laughs> tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. But for some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike. A month. through some wet cement. Six months. And some thorny bushes. Two years. But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years. Dennis. How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded. But what for? For ever. This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. Ha ha! So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah, After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis, it's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room. You too, Nasha. <laughs> Now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Two 
try to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet. Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. <laughs> oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Sorry, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 Crowning Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it, but only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum! Thanks, Dad! Yay! The holidays start here! Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Dennis! Sounds like my tricks really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. 
Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming. Ah, what's his name? I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mistake. Quiet, what's-his-name. I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. Yeah. <laughs> but that was just... Fair enough. It was me. Had to liven things up a bit. This place is so boring. No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer, and we need young what's his name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm. I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. It's <laughs> 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 I think you'll find the squirty bush out wet, the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello, a, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of Green Gunge. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours, what's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike Minasha, I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> so, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. 
I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steak bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pie Face for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimpoff pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr. Scrimp. The greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you? What's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimper. I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. Oh, oh, that smell! It's like rotten eggs and skunks' armpits! Whoa. I feel sick! It's also part stink bomb! Uh, oh, oh, what's the third part? Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's part space hopper! all the commotion. It was Mr Scrimp! He's out of control! What a fine display! And not a leaf out of place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the...? What a job! <laughs> oh, I can't swim! Help me! You know what to do, Nasha! <laughs> Nobody told me practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down. Thanks to the three-in-one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Ready, Nasha? Yes, yes. Let's go! Playing by the rules is highly overrated. Unstoppable, unstoppable, yeah! They can hold us back. We'll make the most of every session.
smoke of the Starship Enterprise. I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace! No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Eh? Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, but if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. You found Miss Bears. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Hartley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy! All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <I'm steady> on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye! Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... <laughs> that little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, oh, that's great. That's another one. <laughs> oh, yes. Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Oh, hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh, yeah. Gran made a pie. <coughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh, OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh, all right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Oh, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? <laughs> wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. 
I thought you two were too tired to keep on rocking. Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You said fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my... Bedtime! Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. Here, boy! Night! What? You can't stay here. This isn't a granny flat. It's my treehouse! My treehouse! At least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! Your gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Oh, oh, oh. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Pot-bellied pest. No! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. Doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love your Gran. She's so funny. But she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her. And she ate my pie. Not your... Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <gasps> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> this way, folks. <laughs> oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley. Brilliant! But careful, mind your foot. Oh, oh, um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's okay, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? I had to ask. <laughs> A stupid pig. Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Wow! What's the.
lovely stretching. Oh, watch it. Wow, what a nice pool. Uh, yes, isn't it smashing? How about a swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? <sighs> Oi, are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> oh. The ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! Me old pool go stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha. Uh, uh. The heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lads. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water round here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is it uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping Gators, a piranha, abandon ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now, all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oof! Oh, well. At 
least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Have gone that way, unless oh, Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Uh, uh, 